Hello Crystal Souls, if you clicked on this video, the future you dream about is coming for you. And if you're new here, welcome, if you want to join a beautiful family and subscribe down below. And for a personal reading, you can find all the information in the description or the pinned comment. Same thing for my TikTok and Instagram. Okay, so let's see what's meant to happen and what you dream about. Let's start the reading. So here is palm number one, palm number two, and palm number three. As you can see, I added some cards on each pal. So here we have fruit juice for the palm number one. Even the colors can be calling you, so really pay attention to all details. Ice cream for palm number two. And we have a lot of flavor. And here we have a lot of flavors. And palm number three. The cake shop. So now take your time. If you need to meditate and pause the video, please do so. And when you are ready, you can find a timestamp in the comments down below. Today I'm going to be shuffling with you using charms, stickers, messages. So make sure to stick out till the end. I may also use the crystal ball today, so for an extra magic to it. So take your time now and I will see you on your pile. So, pal number one, let's see what is going to be your future and what you dream about. So, first of all, if you pick this card, there's a lot of hints. Something juicy is about to happen. You have all the ingredients to actually work on that recipe for your future. So, that's a way to tell you if you want to grow things, you know, with all the nature, but also growing fruits. So that's something you cultivate and nurture yourself with. Then you have to also recognize that you have enough to offer but also use to make the recipe that you want. This is also something that is going to connect with the flavor you wanted related to the future, you know, that you are designing. The doors to me some openness and opportunity for you. There are flowers here, so that can be things blooming, growing. I mean, this card is all about growth. And as for the colors, yellow and green so that's the heart chakra and plexus chakra so there's some activation with anything that you love anything that you see as valuable green can also be about money and yellow can be about joy but the plexus chakra is um, the, the chakra that is connected to our connections with others so that can be better relationships happy moments you know just feeling fulfilled and happy with the people around you but definitely there's a lot of things coming and you are leading the way towards something juicy so let's see with the cards now so the first one is the eight of wands i love this because that shows any type of result you want for your future something juicy you want to be you know creating then you will see this manifesting super super fast we have fire energy here so this is all about passion excitement activation so anything that you wanted or anything you want to explore, you need to follow this with certainty. Because I feel with this energy, which is bold and confident, the more you use this energy and know, okay, what I want, I can get it. What I want, you know, I experience that right now because in my reality, I'm there already. Then you can manifest that flow and fire a lot more faster. This can also be announcing a travel or a transition into your life. And you know, this, this card is a truck. So that can also be, you know, if you want something juicy somewhere else, or if you want to make a transition in your life and you are expecting something good to come, then that's your sign. It will actually be beautiful, powerful. We have eight, which is also the infinite sign. So in my opinion, you are actually being led towards a place or towards a chapter, which is going to allow yourself to awaken that power within your soul. And so you can also do something significant. There's one wand on fire this bird is holding. And I think this represents you. You have to choose wisely what you want to be creating. What is your target, your goal? What is something that seems to be shining a little more? This is your calling and this is something that is going to manifest faster the more energy, um, like energy, time and effort you put into it. So if you want fast result, then target that. You really need to direct your energy or attention towards it so you can just get there faster. 
As for the next one, the Wheel of Fortune. I'm telling you, this group is all rolling. You know, you are here to actually manifest the best things. So this talks about destiny, completion, satisfaction. I mean, you can see it on the card. Dancing, celebrating, feeling happy, energized. So definitely that's for me a sign that everything is going to just perfectly align with the plan or vision or goal that you have. And you are embracing it dancing with it. So in my opinion, the happier you are, the faster things manifest. That's especially the sign. So what is off or connected to your destiny? There will be some type of link here, a link for you to also lead the way towards what you desire. So if you feel guided or if you feel you're receiving a lot of synchronicity, numbers like 888 for example or 1010 on the clock for me 888 is pretty much about infinite power um anything connected to what you reflect on manifesting 1010 is about completion to me so that's a cycle about to be completed or something you may need to feel the urge to complete and this is pretty much the result the end result and that satisfaction in accomplishing this big project with the web this can be on the internet if you want to you know create something on the internet or share something on the internet that can also be dancing because i'm saying dance you know anything connected to your passion that can also be cooking you know cooking videos for example um on instagram or on tiktok or something like this but i feel this is something that is resonating with something that you love to do and that you're passionate about but also something connected to your purpose because that talks about destiny and fate so embrace it keep working towards it here we have the serpent the serpent is for me a part of mystery so you may not know everything right now or may not need to know everything about your future and destiny but all you have to know is that it's gonna be fertile and we talked about this with fruits juicy things um, and also the nature growing here and things manifesting fast or growing very fast. And if you want, for example, because I'm seeing this, you know, the web and dancing and like growth repeatedly, that can also be about it. If you start something online or if you want to be, you know, famous on the internet, let's say, then that can be your sign that things are going to grow super fast, especially if you have fun doing it. Never force yourself to do any type of job or any type of thing that is not providing you that excitement. If this is bringing stress, mm -mm, this is not for you. So always align with that good fortune, this good feeling within. And yes, for the serpent, this can be talking about fertility as well, which is why I talked about things growing very fast for you. As for the next one, we have this beautiful mermaid. So with this card, I'm seeing travel again. So I don't know, maybe this, has, this is your plan. Maybe you try to have a job somewhere. Rather, it's a new city or a new country. Or if you just want to take some rest on a vacation, I feel this may be needed for you to also recharge. And just to, you know, just like when you drink a juice, then you feel that vitamin activating all that chemistry within yourself. And I think this is also what is going to, you know, awaken within, let's say, when you'll be traveling or when you take some time to rest. But the fool is also an excited traveler. And that can be in different aspects of your life, like exploring something beyond um, beyond your comfort zone, beyond your fears, beyond your limitations. You know, the mermaid is a dreamer, a dreamer to come to the land. This is a little mermaid, by the way. So that's why I'm saying that. But, you know, she is looking at the distance, this beautiful castle, dream to be there. And I think this can also be where you are at at the moment. You may kind of put some separation between you and your goals. And you may just envy all of that or just dream about it. And that's okay because daydreaming is powerful to manifest things super fast. Now just know, do not put any separation between what you want and this present moment. Because if you just recognize you have everything that you need and that you're satisfied and happy and grateful for all the things you are actually targeting, then that is a cheat code to manifest that faster. Because the universe doesn't know what is the difference between this current reality in front of you or the reality in your mind. Everything is valid and true to you and to the universe. So when you just actually use that, and I saw 10 
zero one so that's the reverse reality is like a mirror so yes the reality you experience is your mirror the fool is also not afraid to take risks so that is a sign for me to tell you you have to believe in yourself enough and to go with the flow so you can travel or transition towards the best option or best place or best career best schools it all depends but whatever is best for you let me see so we have zero ten eight so i talked about these two numbers before but zero is pretty much a reset or that can also be like soul family a circle so if you want to just encounter more people who are just like you then that is you leading the way towards these people but especially i'm seeing you building an empire you know with a castle here or envisioning that for the future and this is all coming so let's see with the next cards what you can expect what is coming for you and your future so this can also be some advice. You may actually feel a bit anxious and that's also the vibe we're getting with the full. You know, it's kind of like, I want this, but can I get there? Yes, you can. So do not feel anxious about your result. Really see and envision the positive, um, the positive result of it because this way you can manifest it faster. So it's okay to feel anxious, you know. Uh, you know, we all overthink or kind of be stuck in the mind a lot so it's fine but just know everything is working out best case scenario for you the temple path yes because something big is coming and you're leading the way towards that destiny because for me the temple path is pretty much your purpose your path i'm also seeing this as twin soul um reunion so that can also be a message for you and even destiny can be about it you know whatever is meant to happen it will just be patient with the steps this can be talking about some evolution you know sometimes we are being tested if we're ready for this, if we think positive enough to get where we want to be, or like events or things or people, they can be testing us to see, okay, if you're strong enough to accomplish this part of prophecy and destiny. So the temple path is reminding yourself why you came here for. And that reason itself is just this little boost from the universe pushing you in this direction to trust, to not be anxious, to not overthink because this is meant to happen. So anything you dream about, you will get there. It's obvious to me and yes, you will need to ascend and grow up with these challenges or things and this is actually serving you so you can be accomplishing something big. And I said this is a twin soul card because right there, if you look at the grass and the symbol, this reminds me of yin and yang. Of course, that can be that, that duality and completion. Ten is about completion, so that can be about it. But also, I'm seeing this as divine masculine, divine feminine coming together. Even zero can be about, you know, that wholeness. It's like two parts, boom, and this is creating one. But, you know, even the mermaid in like the Disney movie, is pretty much dreaming about being with the one. It's kind of like a soulmate dynamic or even twin soul, maybe. Um, everything is separating them, but she is doing her best to be with this person. So I guess that's also maybe a message here that needed to come through if you want to be with the one, even the number one, new beginning, two, union, so new union, one, eight. So that's a new way of thinking for me because, you know, one is pretty much newness and eight you know that can be the infinite power or things you want to manifest but for me because that's connected to the mind that's a new way of thinking that's needed so you can be receiving what you want the window can be about something you envision the curtain can be some revelation so that can be something that you are being revealed or some clarity on a situation on something you think about but always think positive and envision the best for you so let's see with these cards. I'm gonna pick one to see a future. Okay, perfect. Destroying angel. Okay, so that can also be this duality is what I'm getting here. 
well, okay, I, I feel like I need to take this one too. Unity. So you are entering or you were in a phase of transformation. And this phase of transformation, I think, was represented by the steps, you know, that challenge a little bit. And you are becoming stronger because of that dual aspect of life or expressions of life, you know, the darkness and also the light. So this part of suffering, I mean, I'm seeing this as light, but both are actually kind of being shaped in in a very intense and strong, um, I don't know, pressure, let's say. But this part of you that was destroyed or that you chose to destroy was allowing you to become an angel or become stronger. So recognize your power. Yes, it was not easy or it will not be easy to go and explore this path that you dream about, but this is gonna be worth it for you to also unite or become one with the earth, people, energy, animal, everything around you that is a form of life. It's like you understand who you are and you understand there's no separation really, you are all one. And so that is also the sense of family that we talked about. But, you know, even this aspect is creating this wholeness, yin and yang. So this duality is needed for you to also be complete and for you to keep on growing towards what you want. So in my opinion, that's about, okay, I see that shadow aspect within me. I see the suffering and I accept that as part of the past. But is it defining me? No, because I can choose a different story. All the things that destroyed you, let's say, all the things that affected you, then yes, it was there. It, it was teaching you something important, but you do not need to carry that with you. Instead, unite with this beautiful aspect and power. You are an expression of life. You can see it's like a, a portal where animals are coming out of you. And this is part of unity. This is part of becoming one, of actually welcoming the light. I'm not saying to you know, brush away the shadow and spit on it. It's not the case. You have to just accept and see, okay, that's part of myself, but I also can choose differently. Anytime you have a choice, it's rather you align with something that can be a bit dark or, you know, that part of you that's expressed because you were actually affected about something. So when you react a certain way, ask yourself, why is this so? Why am I reacting this way? Where is this coming from? And sometimes you may see just glimpses or flashes or just memories coming back to you. And they may actually kind of point out where it was starting. Because this is when you give too much importance or when you accepted something in your life in the past that was shaping you a little bit, that you react when encountering the same pattern or same situation. So for me, you can level up and become that angel. This part of brokenness, this was needed for you to just recognize what you want to welcome and shape yourself with as an energy. But like I said, understand where the root is at so you can liberate yourself. It's like when you see, okay, this plant is, I don't know, actually toxic, then I need to remove that from my garden so plants can grow. Then that's the same within you. So try to make um, some time to do some shadow work, maybe inner child work as well. So let's see that message. It, here it's like welcoming the light, welcoming the fire. So that can also be related. And we have the church on the background. So anything you hope for, anything you wish for is going to manifest. The infinite sign is popping here again. So infinite power, the blue flame. Blue is about communication to me and creativity. So that can also be related to your dreams. Things are blooming again. As for the moon, I'm seeing this as clarity or anything connected to your dreams. And you're manifesting this energy and magic here. So the more faith you have in your project, in yourself, the faster you can unite your forces and manifest things faster, connected to your destiny. But you know happiness can be found even in the darkest of time, when only when one only remembers to turn on the light. That's exactly what you need here. You know, darkness and then you saw the light. So like I said, it's a choice. Remember to turn on the light. Whenever you feel anxious or if you're worried or if something is triggering you, then 
Okay, relax, breathe in, breathe out, and then recognize, okay, what's there? And turn on that light. <laughs> okay, so let's see one message with the BTS cards. Telepathy, hoo-hoo! And we talked about Twin Soul, so I'm really excited. But of course, you have telepathic connections with everybody. Even though we're far away now, our hearts are still the same. Even I'm not by your side, you know we're together. Definitely twins. <laughs> like twin soul message or soulmate con did I say mission? Twin soul connection, I mean, um, or soulmate connection. It's like, yes, even though you are apart, you're still together, you're still one. And that love is infinite. So that's the message. I'm gonna be channel channeling one vision in the crystal ball and then continuing with the other techniques. Okay, I'm seeing two moons. So that can be representing cycles or that can also be related to like that duality becoming one. So we talked about, you know, things coming at once and maybe, you know, when I met that, <laughs> I mean, I created that sign as one. Here I'm seeing the opposite. So that can also be you putting distance, okay, um, to what you want to complete. So like this card is telling you, remember to turn on that light so you can be facing what you want and so attracting it. I think that's the sign. So let's see with the other techniques, what's coming for you related to your dreams. So far, so good. You can see the energy is not, it's not kidding. It's huge. So first... Let's start with another message. Four messages. Together your dream will begin to come true from the moment you both smile and say I do. With lots of warm wishes to a very special pair who found life, who found life cherished moment in the love that they share. Happy anniversary. Definitely love, reunion or some message from your twin soul or soulmate. I think that's especially it because the anniversary can rather be you know celebrating that union together or um, I don't know this is kind of like a marriage celebration to me and a message from rap monster <laughs> we are alone but also together oh my goodness I'm telling you I don't know I feel this is actually announcing some union <laughs> and this is so exciting so let's see with the charms. So we have do, wait, and don't. Interesting, we don't have any don'ts. <laughs> so here, E, O, R. So with do, we have hug. I'm seeing growth, digging deep into what you want. It's like, okay, it's time to dig dig down that, you know, big, beautiful, um, how is it called? You know, that treasure in the sand. Kind of reminds me of that. This pirate, you know, wanting to dig deep and get that reward. So that's especially what I'm getting here. A hug. So if you want to hug someone or just show your, your interest in someone, that can be about it. I'm seeing childhood here with that toy. But the horse can also be about speed. So if you want to quickly go in one direction, go ahead, do that. As for the fish, it's gonna be Pisces energy, but also I'm seeing this as going with the flow. You know, don't question things. If you want that, go ahead. It's like a swing motion as well that we saw with that toy, right? You know, it's like putting action, putting momentum. And we saw this also with the card, with the eight of wands. You know, momentum, action, you know, you can see yourself flying there. So do that. <laughs> As for weight, I heard retracting. So if you actually want to retract from something, maybe waiting and see and having faith in it, maybe best. For the pig appearing, the pig reminds me of, you know, the, pee the piggy bank. I mean, so that can also be saving money. So waiting before investing in something can be the case or waiting for the money to come if you want to see some reward and or maybe that's a reward. Yeah, I guess that's it. And we have a name. So name it and then wait for it to, to actually manifest that. But also if you see a name with these letters, 
I heard run out or run. Ero, ero. Isn't it a deity? Sorry, I'm not really an expert into things like these, but I think it is a Greek god or maybe something like this. If you know, maybe you can write it down in the comments to help other people who are just not aware of this, just like me. <laughs> I don't know, but I feel like this may be important. Okay, so let's continue with the stickers. Which will conclude your reading for today. So let's see what's about to come. Right away I'm seeing a date, so that's promising. Okay, I'll take these. <laughs> love! I'm telling you, I'm telling you, love is coming. Ninja! Like this ninja or force is just gonna serve you to manifest and also to work on you know anything that you want to complete anything that is going to get to your destiny. So baby's dinner is definitely some type of encounter or that can be, like I said, going on a date together with the one you love. There's so much love from this group. I feel like you guys are ready to be with the one. We have a fresh start, you know, panting fresh. It's also, for me, designing a reality in a way that's like gonna be completely different, completely fresh and new. And this ninja energy is, you know, being a doer, being confident, fighting for what you want and for what you believe. As for this message, up in the clouds on my way to unknown things. So you may not need to know everything. Oh my goodness, I just received the message from my twin. Because I was actually wanting to see an airplane to confirm he received the message and here it is. So that's connected. But up in the clouds, that can also be the way that you dream or envision things and you are on my way to unknown things. So you just trust, you know, this destiny, this fate, you welcome this, you're celebrating this. You know, like I said, there's a part of the unknown, things you don't need to know right now or you don't need to know everything at least. And just going out there with faith and confidence is enough. So this is your reading. I hope you like this one. Let me know in the comments what you think you can write. I claim to welcome this beautiful future and energy. And if you're new here, make sure to join a beautiful family and subscribe down below. And I will see you on my next reading. Bye-bye. So pile number two, let's see your future starting with this beautiful card. So there are some hints here, a lot actually. So right away, I'm seeing ascension for you with the steps. It's like one step at a time, you'll get there. What you want to reach is out there. It's like you're craving for something. Craving for something flavorous, sugary. So that's something sweet that you picture or envision for your future. And you are going there fast. As for the structure, you know, I'm seeing wheels, all around kind of guiding you so that's something that can be transported it has to be moving you know that dream of yours it shouldn't be too static the vision that you have it should always you know welcome a part of mystery welcome a part of you know a part of magic you don't need to make things so structured and steady or just um Static, like I said, it has to be moving, evolving with time. Just like the steps. One step at a time, you are building that future that you want. Even when you serve yourself with ice cream, you know, it's rather you get you get one little bowl of ice cream or multiple ones, and then things are going to be actually more flavory or more tasty. So you can choose the flavor, you can choose the color. All of that is just your creation. And you can see a lot of options here. So it's like the universe is inviting you in so you can choose what you want to, but also what is going to satisfy your palate, let's say, or that can be satisfy your tastes. So let's see with the next cards. So first we have the judgment card. So in order for you to get there, you need to know exactly what you want, decide what you want. Here I'm seeing a dreamer, an adventurer. So that can also be telling you to be adventurous, to look for higher things. You could have been doubting yourself a little bit or doubting that you can manifest that dream because you are still in the process of getting there. See, so in my opinion, this is telling you to have faith, to see that the sun, yes, it can be a bit far, but it's shining for you. You can receive the ray, that support, this divine support actually, to be in that place. 
So keep on working, keep on exploring. With the monkey appearing, the monkey is for me the symbol of fun, fun, excitement. So that can also be telling you to have fun with what you do, with what you want to read. It shouldn't be a pressure. And if this became a pressure, you may be in your headspace way too much. You may be overthinking it, over judging it, maybe. Or you can be judging yourself in the process, because that can also be the case. But instead, support yourself, support your dream and, and really give it faith. With the lotus, that's a part of trust, you know, something unfolding and this represents trust. So in my opinion, if you want to reach for that, you need to trust it fully and to not judge the process or judge yourself or judge the situation or give it too much importance when it's going against you. No, instead you are supported with each step that you take to get where you want. So that judgment is also some divine judgment. I feel like you may be tested with that challenge or that ascension so they can know, so your guides or your higher self, angels or God, they can know if you are ready, if you're ready to receive what you wanted, if you trust it enough. Because this is when you embody this energy and come together with what you want and embody it or embody the version that you need to be to be there then this is when things just come so that's a reminder right now you're observing what you desire but if you look closely you recognize the ray of the sun they're here you can feel them so feel that result, you know, be in that moment already. We have 20 appearing. So two is about unity, union, so becoming one with it. And I think that's especially about it. And so two and zero. And zero is about family or coming together. Funny enough, we had the same, um, the same message in group number one, like becoming one with what you want. So I guess that's in the energy. As for the next one, we have the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is very curious and determined. He knows or she knows what she wants. So in my opinion, that's some kind of push a little bit to take actions. If you want it, go get it. Don't wait for anybody to deliver what you desire. You are the one leading the way. You are supposed to be actually the one who is leading the way towards what you desire. So with that confidence and strength, go ahead. There's something you may need to build or something you may think of building. And like I said, the moment you trust it, it will flow. It will actually manifest super fast. Even the horse is about speed. So I guess that's announcing this, like speed in your manifestation. When you align with that positive mindset or awaken that positive mindset, this is when things just manifest effortlessly. It's like the magic. You know, when you start thinking positively, you can see this as the sun in your mind expanding and the rays reaching out of your mind. This is this expansion and energy outside of you. And so, of course, this impacts your environment and create or energize everything the way you was manifested this energy within you. But like I said, the night is here to take action. So if you want change, manifest that change. And even this card is all about it. So we have the death card. I'm not wanting you to be afraid of it. This card is actually very positive in my opinion because that shows there is a change that's needed and you cannot go back to what you knew. There's something ahead that's waiting for you. There's something that's meant to happen. And if you just unveil or just remove that curtain, you will see what's there beyond. Because for, for you, you may picture the death, you know, that reflection on the curtain. But if you open that up, you can see there is someone standing. So that is not representing death at all. Instead of just seeing things empty or things ending or things being against you, try to see that instead as a support, as something divine happening or something divine ending so you can be leading the way towards something that is more in resonance with what you want to taste for the future, with something that is going to be just more in resonance with what you wanted, even though you didn't see that, even though you didn't understand that it was meant for you, then you will see that, oh, actually this manifesting in my life was a blessing. And you may recognize this afterward when revealing, you know, that scene or that 
I don't know, that thing behind the curtain. But there's someone standing waiting for you. And you're still looking for clarity. You know, we had the sun energy. It's like that big clarity. And with the, um, the candle she's holding, that can also be you searching for answers or clarity or just know why this needed to actually happen or hand so you can be, you know, shown what's there. So searching for answers is actually the right thing to do. So maybe that's part of the action, searching for answers, searching for clarity or implementing something new. Because like this card is saying, time for the new. You cannot go back to old foundations, old relationships. If you wanted to go back with an ex, that's a no-no for you. That means there's someone waiting for you that's actually best and that you divinely guided towards this person. So take actions towards that freedom, towards something that is actually better than you experienced before. Never take or build the future out of what you knew, out of your past. Why? Because if you do so, you limit yourself. You limit yourself because you experience certain things, which is very little compared to the possibilities available to you. And that's why you may picture something on the curtain. It's like a flash or like a um, Give it, giving something a meaning, but then you recognize, oh, this was bigger than this. I was making the wrong judgment about something or someone or some situation or even myself, but I'm bigger than this or things are bigger than this and I can design things differently now that I have the awareness that I was creating this image, which is actually not serving me. So release, you know, anything that's toxic or anything that you see as an end or as something that's never working. It's really about recognizing, okay, I was probably seeing things the wrong way or with a lot of negativity or doubts or fears or anxiety. But now, if I just open the curtain and see what is instead of judging or overanalyzing things or overthinking things, then I can see what is and what is actually better than what I pictured in my mind. So I can be telling you to have a better mindset, let's say, or work on your mindset to also attract and manifest, yes, the past. So we have woman holding a coin. So I just need one more card. So that for me is about success and success that you are manifesting, it's in your hands. Now, I'm not seeing this woman so satisfied, so that can be some material success, but you may want to celebrate that with somebody or just manifest something that is going to be a bit more satisfying for you. So this place of power, ask yourself, why do you want to reach it? Is it just for like some material aspect or is it for something more important than this? Really ask yourself, okay, why am I manifesting these things or why am I dreaming about this future? Or this person can also be it. Okay, so I'll take these two. Because I feel this may be important. So we have victory. And appreciation. You know, it's like exactly what we talked about. Maybe you are not so appreciative of what's manifesting. Maybe you are the one who is always seeking for more and more and more. And never really being in a place of appreciation and gratefulness. This may not be for everybody. But this can be the case for some people. Because they see, okay, then what's next? Or, I don't know, maybe like, what is the next action for me? No, be really in a place... And feel that victorious feeling because you manifested all of this. You can see this coming out of the hands. So yes, that's your creation. And this is what you saw with you know, that coin. That's out of your hands. You are manifesting that opportunity, that thing of value. So that's why I feel you are entering a phase where you will be feeling victorious. Where you'll be more appreciative and more present with yourself, with people, but also with the things that you are actually accomplishing, there's a part of fulfillment here. Like feeling fulfilled because you accomplished something beautiful. Even though you may not see it or feel, yes, that's normal. No, you have to really see the power, the force, the creation. You manifested, you created. Because I know that sometimes, especially skilled people or perfectionists, they can be seeing this, yes, that's the result I wanted and that's it, like what's next for me? No, <laughs> I know this is hard because I'm a perfectionist and I understand that. 
that sometimes just being there and appreciating the flow of things or just things unfolding and being presented to you Yes, it's easy because you're a powerful manifester, but you also deserve to feel good. You also deserve to feel victorious with everything you are accomplishing. So please be in a phase of appreciation. Cultivate this inner garden or outer garden and keep on just being there. You know, sometimes I just go in my garden and just meditate and just look around at insects or just the plants the trees, and just being connected there and hearing the birds singing. There's so much appreciation just being alive. You know, it's not about accomplishing things or collecting coins or whatever that is. No, it's just about, wow, like I'm part of it. I'm part of it and just that is exciting. Just that is worth living. So it's not about just what you can get, it's what you experience appreciate that so let's see with the next cards what's coming for you what you can expect for your future so far it's pretty deep i feel you guys it's a deep message for you to recognize the beauty of life the beauty of life and what you can accomplish and also the way that things evolve there's a part of death also in nature with the season so that's also something we have to welcome and grow up from and adapt to Prove yourself. Okay, so that can also be rather something to do or rather something to quit. It all depends. Especially if you feel like you have to prove yourself or prove yourself you can do it. Prove yourself you can achieve it. You don't have to prove anything. Okay, just be appreciative of what you can do. It's like even on the scene, you can see this girl connecting with these beautiful cats. And I think that's also part of life. You need to just appreciate and experience things instead of always having to prove or provide or give or you know that pressure is not it's just not good for you so in my opinion proving yourself is about actually not having to prove yourself and just being being existing is enough in itself but yes of course if you want to build that empire we have all the things you know um the bricks on top, of each, uh, on top of each other, so that's about building something. And we saw that empire on the background. So yes, I feel you are building your career or wanting to succeed with your studies. Still, I feel there's something more to life. There's something that's more meaningful to you. And maybe you have to follow that force or just be present with yourself a little bit. You don't have to always prove your worth, prove yourself, prove that you're capable. Just being alive is enough, like for real. And I know it can sound crazy and society may pressure you to be or to become somebody. Or maybe social medias are pressuring you to have a, a more beautiful body or just a beautiful image or beautiful makeup or beautiful clothes or whatever that is. You don't have to prove anything. Like I said, being yourself is enough. And if someone is making question that, you, you're not. You're not even needing these people. I'm being honest with you. You don't need anybody that is making you feel awkward in your skin or awkward in your mind or awkward with your emotions or with your spirit. Just be around people. And if not people, then just be around nature. Nature or animals. And be in this moment of, of appreciation with that force of life. Like, just look around and really study how animals feel do you feel like they need to prove anything do you feel like they need to really work hard on something they are just existing and i feel we lost that we lost that because we live in a very pre-constructed reality or just society let's say and we were just giving it too much importance i know that some people are free from this because they chose differently and they choose to exist but it's not so easy but I'm not saying you have to just quit it or just um, stop living around people or just with that pressure. It's just about giving it more, less, I mean, less importance. As for this card, so we can see the harp and all that energy coming out of it. That can also be telling you to be more creative or to be more in flow, to just do something that you are excited about. There are S's appearing, kind of reminds me of yin and yang. So that part of completion, S can be soulmate, I mean the S. 
it's in reverse. We have an S that way, which is in the right direction. I don't know, that's some completion. It kind of reminds me of the coffee bean as well. I don't know why, but maybe this is about provided, I mean, being provided energy. So the message, everyone wants some magic solution for their problem and everyone refuses to believe in magic. So if you want a magical solution, then believe in your magic. It's pretty much the code I'm getting here. But anything that you see as a problem or anything, just know that there's there's some magic happening or you can manifest that magic. Even that, you know, that illustration is showing ends. And we saw so many things like this is in your hands. So I guess that's also telling you if you want to manifest something different or just welcome victory and satisfaction and magic, just welcome that. So let's see one message with the BTS cards. That was very fast. So this is from intro. I can see this beautiful Jimin shining. Nothing lasts forever. Wow. See the connection, it's crazy. You only live once, so live your life, not any other's lives. Take chances and never regret. Never. So what we have here is pretty much about, okay, live your life, don't give it importance. I mean, I mean don't give people or things or situations or whatever that is importance so you can just live. Okay, live and take the changes, the chances, I mean, and so you cannot regret. And this is exactly what we talked about. So it's very, very connected. So I'm going to be now channeling a vision in the crystal ball for you guys to see what's coming related to your dreams and then using the other techniques. So I'm saying why, which is for me a big yes. So that can also be telling you to say yes a little more and then find a way to accomplish what you said yes to. For example, you have this opportunity presented just for you and you are a bit afraid to take it. But if you say yes and then figure out how you can actually adapt to it, this may be the option or the answer. Let's see one more. Okay, I'm seeing a bird flagging. So that can also be telling you to open your wings, open your arms to receive and to go with the flow. Also, the bird is to me about exploration, so exploring something new or travel, maybe. So that can be the energy around. So let's continue. I'm going to be first using messages. So seeing more messages and then the charms. So anything you guys need to know. I couldn't heal because I kept pretending I wasn't hurt. So stop ignoring it if you are in pain, if you're reacting, if you're still bitter about something, or if you just feel your emotions are being awakened in a way that's very vivid, probably it's because you're still bleeding. Keep going, keep growing. Yes. <laughs> Night energy here. I loved you in spite of deep fears that the world would divide us. Nope, 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 nope. I'm not saying this. No, no, no. <laughs> anyway, wait, because I'll go to you right now. I'll run against time and go to you. Wait for me. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. You're like, don't fear it because it's probably because of a wound, because it's probably because of something that happened in the past. So heal from this. Keep going, keep growing, but don't give that separation or just situations too much importance if this is not about union or becoming one, especially with a lover because I'm kind of getting this dynamic here or becoming one with what you desire. So let's see with the charms. So we have do, wait, and don't. Well, this was outside, so this can also be a message. If you hear anything, a word, a name, a place, that's for you. I kind of heard George for this, but I'm not too sure. So do, I'm seeing this as a wish. So wishing for the best things, that may be to encourage yourself to wish 
maybe for success because I'm seeing the starfish. The starfish is pretty much a success that is sticking to you. So this was do and wait. So that can also be telling you to maybe wait for a result. Eight for me is reflection or infinite power. So if you are waiting for this infinity, infinite power or force that may be coming, just wait for this. T, so this is connected to wait. I'm seeing protection with the cat. So waiting for protection, waiting for teamwork or collaboration or working with someone. Success, maybe that success is going to be, you know, a process. And we saw that with the steps, right? So for some people, it's just going to be manifested because you do things. But also be aware to receive that result, you may need to wait. So we can celebrate, it's like opening that drink for you, celebrating. I heard teaching for tea. We have number one, so that may be a new beginning. So that was wait and don't again tea. So I guess there, there's a connection. For some people, it's rather you wait for this or you just quit it. It all depends. I feel like you may need to reflect on this, make the right judgment. We saw the judgment card to see if this is good and worth waiting for or not. And China is appearing for don't. So I don't know. Maybe that's a sign for you. So let's continue with the stickers, which is the last technique for today. So let's see what's coming for your future. Will domination for cats. <laughs> You're here to conquer the world. To shine. Again, the star. I mean... Reaching for the star can also be the code with these two. Or you can become a star. For me, the dancer is about mastery as well. So keep on mastering. Be true to you. True colors. And we saw that with the ice creams as well. Multiple colors. You have so many different things to offer. It's like you have a palette of colors. So show them. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And we saw that with the death card, you know, something may have happened or that's happening. But this is for you to also conquer the world, to be in tune and to dominate that part of force or something that seems to be against you and break that down so you can keep on moving and keep on shining. So this is your message. This is your reading. I hope you like this one. Let me know in the comments what you think. You can write, I claim to welcome this beautiful future and energy. If you're new here, make sure to join a beautiful family and subscribe down below and I will see you on my next reading. Bye-bye. So part number three, let's see your future. So right away with this card, you pick this one for a reason. So first I'm seeing an opportunity with the door. The cake is something delicious and there are some layers to it. So that can also be related to, especially to this one. You know, this can be related to layers to that future, that manifestation. You may just see everything as a whole, you know, the cream part. And then, you know, this part that is very flavory and then the fruits inside of it, for example. So build that dream, really envision all the layers to it, all the details to it. So you can just actually get that tasty, tasty piece of cake. So we have flower cake interesting and the fruit cake as two messages so fruit is something juicy and tasty and as for the flower cake that can be something that is about to bloom grow blossom into your life even here we have the bouquet and we have a bouquet here as well so that can also be some proposal some offer some celebration it's like you know when you go to uh, let's say you are performing on stage and then they come to you and they offer you a bouquet. It's part of that reward of you working hard on your dream or working hard on something you are mastering. So I guess that's especially the sign and symbol connected to your future, the future you are about to welcome. But like I said, something tasty is coming. So with the cards, first we have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is someone who's very independent, very intelligent, 
especially the Queen of Swords, because sword is connected to the mind. So she knows what she wants and she knows what she doesn't want. So that itself is helping the universe to know what to manifest and what is just off your image or this vision that you have for your future. So be just like the queen or the king. Just know what you want, know what you want to design in your reality. Keep on working on that plan, you know, like I said, with the layers of things, the details that you want to be manifesting, and just see this as a big image. It's like the cake is representing your love life, your financial life, um, your connections with friends. This can be your connection with family. Everything has to come as a whole. It's not just like, okay, we have right there the cream and then here, you know, the flower um, cake and then I don't know. No, everything is coming all at once. That's part of the recipe. You have all the ingredients, so cook it, you know, cook it, cook that future, cook that, cook that image in your mind so you can just get there and she's a fighter she's a doer you can't even see enemies behind <laughs> like i mean you you just don't want to be there so i guess that's also your impressive aura you may just seem very strong and mysterious or just very bold and being independent like if you want something you're gonna get it, it it's something it's some energy let's say that kind of is, is scary a little bit because I can see that strength. I can see that determination and nothing and no one is gonna go against you and your dreams. So keep on going. I feel like you're doing great. You are in a place of power with the queen or king energy. So keep on dreaming with the seven of cups, which is Aladdin. So in the cavern, you can see so many objects, so many things that you may actually be tempted to get. Now, I'm seeing this as making the right choice. If you saw Aladdin, you know that when entering the cavern, he has to choose only the lamp. So you have to understand that this lamp represents this burning desire. Anything you're looking for and the only thing you need really for yourself. So yes, you have different opportunities, that's great, but understand what's best for you. Understand that this is gonna actually manifest all your wishes, all that you wanted. But if you saw Aladdin, pretty much all the wishes he made are useless because if he's just being himself, he can just accomplish that alone. So anything you wish for, just know it comes from you. It comes from you and your own power. You don't really need to actually see an external power or exterior entity creating the dream that you want. You can design it on your own. If you wish for that, you're gonna get that. And I feel that's also the queen energy, knowing I am a powerful creator. I am the one who is manifesting my reality and I can get anything I desire that's gonna be tasty for me. I just have to choose the right ingredients or to choose to actually take the right option for me. Seven is about luck as well. So you will be very lucky with the things you are going to accomplish or welcome. There is this waterfall, which I think for me is representing flow. So being in flow, but the waterfall is also related to money. And you can see this coins, rubies, um, even the lamps are in gold. So in my opinion, anything that's coming is gonna be out of something of value to you. But also this can be attracting and manifesting luxury, money. This can also be a sign for you that anything you wish for, it's, a, it's kind of like the lamp actually manifesting that wish for you. You ask the Jenny, what do you want? And you're just receiving this effortlessly. So let's see, we have so many signs on the lamps. So first we have the fire, which is for me about passion. Maybe you are supposed to choose one of them. See, so something related to your passion or maybe all that can be associated to the mind as one. Like I said with the cake, the layers, but this is a whole thing. So passion, peacock is about beauty. Here we have a hand receiving something. So that can be receiving something important. Or that can be something crafty, something you make with your hand. As for the hippogriff, I'm seeing this as collaboration or coming together and also part of trust in the process. 
Here we have a sun or a path. So sun can be about success or a divine path, growth. And this is a lion to me. So that can also be Leo energy. Or that can be, for me, the lion is about confidence. So all that may be what you wish for, what you envision. But pretty much that card is telling you anything you dream about or daydream or visualize, you'll get there. Because when you trust and when you have this pure, um, pure intention to get there, it will come. You know, when, when people are greedy or like they hold on to something, they need something, there's no space to receive. You can't see it. But instead, when you just welcome and just daydream and be there like, yeah, that's a possibility for me, then you are in receiving mode. So that may be telling you to also work on this energy to get what you want or cook what you want. So let's see with the next cards, what's connected to your dreams, your future anything that's coming for you but so far so good you can also be seeing 777 and i also did a reading not too long ago with like angel numbers so maybe that's related and if you pick this one it's pretty much you eating a jackpot anything you daydream about or dream about it's now manifest oh my goodness yes i mean this is what we talked about right so abundance all that you want is coming. Anything you value, any anything you see as fulfilling, because you can see the corn cup, yeah. So cup being full. I think that's about it. The ray of light can also be about that positivity we talked about. Something golden, a golden future. But expect a lot of abundance. If you are wanting money, money is coming. If you're wanting, I don't know, something that is going to come into flourishing, it's coming. Anything you work towards, you can see results. Rest and rejuvenation. So that can also be some, some inspiration for you to just be more present with yourself, to take a risk, to rejuvenate, to energize yourself. Maybe to go in nature and meditate or just really ground yourself. Sit on the ground um, and ask you know, the, the energy from the ground to come all up from your spine to the top of your head and recharge yourself with this energy. I did this a um, few days ago and this was beautiful. I could sense all the energy coming out of my third eye and also my crown chakra. This was very powerful as a moment and this may inspire yourself to be in flow, to be recharged or just to receive this, these divine energies, to fill yourself up or just to be more connected and more appreciative of what's manifesting all around you. So let's see with the next cards. But so far, so good. We have 11, by the way, you can see 11, 11, a wish coming true. And here we have 19. So one new beginning, nine is perfection. So when you take that rest, when you meditate, or when you just are connected to the moment, meditation can be done with like painting, listening to music, being in the zone, pretty much. When you do that, then you can also build that perfection, create that perfection within you and then outside of you. So because I saw the sword, that can also be telling you to think, but also think and create when you are at rest, when you rejuvenate. And like we saw that as daydreaming. So maybe you need to also take some time for you and meditate on that bigger picture the gift, to receive the gift, to receive the cake. Yes, so it's definitely connected. Wow, and the hippogriff is appearing. I don't know, maybe some of you have this hippogriff um, as a spirit guide. But like I said, this is a sense of family. And here you can see the family of the hippogriff. I swear I'm not, I cannot make this up. Like for real, it's so beautiful. So the gift that can be the offering from the universe or just people around you may support you to manifest the dreams that you want or the flow or anything that you are meant to be receiving now. It's like, okay, you want that, you get it because you work so hard because you are very determined and you know what you're capable to build and you also take some time for yourself. So of course, in this moment of life and force, energy and expression, you are recognizing but also receiving what you want let's take one more card from this deck 
As for the mountains appearing here, that can also be this grounding energy, becoming a mountain. Or, as a sign telling you, you will be moving mountains. And that can be moving mountains within you. And, since, and then seeing that result outside of you, all around you, the options available, all that is in your cup. Pretty much anything you dream about, like I said, is your creation and you're just manifesting that. Okay, a moment, again, very connected to that rest and rejuvenation, rejuvenation um, card. So just be in the moment, appreciate, be there, connect, and also inspire yourself from nature, from people, from the animal, from every force of life around you. <clears throat> so on the card, I'm seeing, uh, I'm not sure if you know that, but when welcoming mushrooms, the trees, when they welcome them is to get more information about their environment because the mushrooms are going to act like receptors. So that can also be telling you to connect with people or things around you that may act like a receptor to make you aware there's something coming. But if you're just present, rest, meditate and rejuvenate, you will see answers or things or just any any type of information coming to you effortlessly. So that's why taking a moment for yourself, maybe um, the recipe or the technique, just the magic that is going to help you to manifest to what you desire. We have this little rabbit. He is so cute. I wish I could just cuddle him. <laughs> so this rabbit is just at rest, feeling safe around you. And I think that's also this part of safety that needs to be awakening within you, but also that force you have to share that with others make people feel safe around you and that can also be telling you to work towards it because you know that queen was a bit scary but here you know i feel like the moment people get to know you they see that you are not so scary they see that you're not so i don't know i feel you know this part of confidence queen energy can be a bit wow like too much sometimes for people but when taking a moment with you or just communicating with you, they may recognize you're very wise and peaceful, very loving and caring. There's this healing type of energy coming from you. And I'm saying this because 11 with path life numbers, this is talking about the healer. So that can be your path, that can be your purpose, but also I'm seeing this as your healing energy. So let's continue with this deck. Oh, and we have the hat, by the way. The hat is the mind connection again. You know, we saw sword energy, mind connection. So definitely anything you think about, anything you entertain in your mind, it's now actualizing. So here, it's like brushing away anything that's a clutter, anything that's no longer serving you guys. So, <laughs> this bird. <laughs> so anything that's no longer serving you, t -t -t -t, just brush it away. As for the lanterns appearing, that can be some clarity. The two cats, cats are for me protectors. At least they symbolize that to me. So that can also be telling you that you're safe and protected. Don't be afraid to, you know, release anything that's lo no longer serving you or that's toxic. Even people who were kind of like seen as against your enemies. Sometimes it may just be in your head. But sometimes it's reality. So don't be afraid to say goodbye to them. Don't... There's no need to hurt them is what I'm getting here because here it's like you're rather with me or you're out. And that can be the case as a sign, but don't be too harsh. Just understand people are themselves and that is beautiful in itself. Saying one, 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 one. So yes, new beginning, new flow, new connections, but just allow them to be them and be yourself. But if being yourself is about taking a new road or taking a different direction, do that. Don't be afraid. So as for the message, it is the quality of one's convictions that determines success, not the number of followers. Very important. So recognize it's not about the number. It's not about external opinions about what you do. It's just about being appreciative and being determined and following what's 
what's seen as quality or valuable and working towards it. The rest, the noise, whatever is outside of you, it does not matter, especially if this doesn't support you feeling at rest, you feeling peaceful, or you manifesting wonders. It's like sometimes when you manifest something that is so valuable to you and you're excited, and then you share that with someone around you and they don't really see the value in it, this can kill the spark and that enjoyment. So that probably is telling you to keep that success for yourself and to you know, keep on working towards it and not give too much importance to how people perceive success. Their vision is their vision. That's, that's their, their story. But your story is different. So keep on appreciating, appreciating the gift that's offered to you. If this is something of value, that's enough. You don't need external validation or appreciation to just be in this moment of gratefulness. So let's see now one message from the BTS cards related to your dreams. But so far, I feel like the big message is about know what you want, dream big, visualize it, be at trust, understand this is all coming, the flow is coming, take a moment for yourself and brush away what is no longer serving you to receive your freedom, that gift of you, for you. Dynamite! <laughs> Boom, it's exploding, that's for you. And if you if you don't know that, Dynamite is probably the video on YouTube that's must seen. So that can also be related to your success, like building things on your own. I'm not sure if you know BTS. If you don't, it's pretty much a band that started from, let's say, nothing. They really started from the bottom and they are at the top right now. So that can also be telling you your journey is going to be very similar. You may just, you know, have to... Trust yourself in the beginning because nobody around you may support you or understand what you want to build and what you dream about. But then, boom, this is manifesting like a dynamite. So I'm in stars tonight. So watch me bring the fire and set the night alight. Yes. <laughs> watch me. <laughs> this is especially what I'm getting here. Like, watch me. I'm going to shine bright. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to be now channeling one vision in the crystal ball for you guys. Right away, I'm seeing the, um, how is it called? The, kind of like the key of life, or like a diamond appearing. Funny, because, you know, we saw shining bright. So you are a diamond, you are someone of value, and all that you dream about is also of value. So keep on following this. As for the sign, which is for me about re resurrection or incarnation, that can be telling you that you came here on earth for something big. You came here to shine. So believe in this. Believe in this and believe in your spark is what I heard. So let's continue with the other techniques. I'm going to start first with the message or the messages. Oops, there is one. Okay, <laughs> one sticker there. What? I mean, we saw bouquets, right? Appearing, so I guess that that was purposed. Some offering, some celebration. If you can see it. But going back in the box. So let's see all the messages. I feel like this is so many hints for you. Trust the timing of your life. Documented. It is what it is. Okay. Hugs and happens. It happens. I feel like that's a code right there. So maybe take some time to pause the video and think about it. You know, it is what it is. I feel like it's pretty much about accepting things. Hugs, that can also be someone who is meant to like hug you or support you, documented, that can be about documenting your life, things happening maybe to you, because we have happens. As for this, the best time for new beginnings is now. Do you see, trust the timing of life and the best time. It's like it's time. It's urging you to, I don't know, work or document something or there's something you may need to do or feel the urge to do related to your dreams. When you have to try and love, 
that already mean it's not love. So give me some advice right there. So let's see what the charm is now. I don't know, maybe that's a name that you see, maybe words that you hear, a place. We have the sun and why. So sun is about success, shining bright. Why can be some questioning or reflection that's needed for you to work on your success. I heard generation or generate and Jenny as well. Interesting. Because we saw, you know, that lamp. So with do, wait and don't. Right away with don't, I'm seeing this as letting go because with the, um, the, fl the flower, the leaf, I mean, the leaf is to me about autumn season and the autumn season is pretty much about letting go, letting things actually disappear. So that can be telling you to stick to the things you believe in and to not give too much importance to your fear because sometimes when we feel we want to let go or just kind of brush everything away and not have to face it. So with wait... R, Z. So this can be talking to you. 10 is about completion. Number one is new beginning. Wait can be about wait for something tasty to come. You know, you're supposed to heat that cake, right? But you have to wait for that recipe, maybe recipe or reward to come to you. Adapting, adapting to maybe things being delayed with the lizard. Again, the autumn season is appearing, so waiting before letting go, or maybe don't is the answer. It all depends. That way you talk for, I mean, differently to everybody. As for do, we have EE -E and 1-1. One, one. So working on your new beginning, I heard experiences for this. For the dragonfly, I'm seeing this as change, adaptability but also change coming for you that's going to be rewarding and transformative. So that can be telling you to welcome that change. Here I'm seeing telepathy as a connection with the dolphins, or that can be sticking or doing things with somebody who share a deep connection with you. And of course, when I'm seeing this, I think of soulmates, but especially twin souls. So that can also be telling you to stick around these people or the person that you want to be connecting with. So let's continue with the stickers, which will conclude the reading for today. Okay, let's see. one flew there oh keeping thing keeping things secret Psh. so that can be a relationship that can be hiding things i don't know maybe this is actually the best thing to do because sometimes just like i said if you share a success and they're just destroying that spark or excitement within you then keep your success secret just let it speak for yourself the things you own end up owning you from Fight Club. I think this represents this energy. You know, the things you own or the things you destroy end up actually, um, you know, it's like when you do something wrong and then this obsess you or this, this stays in your mind and kind of like feel guilty about it. I guess that's about it. You know, the things you own end up owning you, end up kind of... Like I said, being in your mind repeatedly. Here we have discoveries, happiness, forgive me please. So that can be actually someone who may be coming to you, coming back to you for forgiveness. We have growth and ascension to the stars. Isn't it so connected? 
<laughs> like for real. So it's time for you to shine. It's time for you to actually be working on your happiness, your success, your ascension, and to be bold, to discover new things. But keep your success for yourself or keep things for yourself. Sometimes it, it may be the best thing to do. So that is your bidding. I hope you like this one. Let me know in the comments what you think you can write. I claim to welcome this beautiful future and energy. And if you're new here, make sure to join a beautiful family and subscribe down below. And I will see you on my next bidding. Bye-bye.